What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Today is going to be a good day. And y'all are about to watch one of the best big snapper beatdowns I've ever put out on YouTube. But first, I gotta show you something pretty entertaining. What are y'all doing in there? We're camping. But Look, Jake. But we have AC. We you have what? AC. We have a big beautiful house right over there though. I'd rather stay in here. Yeah. You guys, is this AC blowing some cold air or what? It's blowing it's very blowing. cold very air. Cold. And it's blowing a lot of it. Let me here. see. A lot of cold air. <laughs> For real? No, no yeah. Blankets. Yeah. All right, so by now, I'm sure if you follow me and my brother, Deer Meat for Dinner, and a lot of other huge YouTube creators, you guys have heard of the EcoFlow Wave. This is our portable AC unit. And the coolest thing about it is you don't need like shore power. You don't need to plug it into your house because it's got an awesome battery pack. It will also run on solar panel. You can charge it in your car or you can plug it into the house and charge it or just run it in your house like you saw in a video of mine a while back when my AC went out. So tomorrow is Jake's birthday and him and his buddy Tarzan wanted to camp out here in the yard. Well, guess what? It's like 110 degrees right now. We're having the biggest heat wave Florida's ever had. And I said, no problem guys. My EcoFlow waves got y'all covered. Is it blowing my hair? <laughs> you guys are goofballs. It's, yeah. It feels very good. It's yeah, like, like this whole thing is like, it's cold. It's but y'all so won't be scared nice. to sleep out here tonight? I ain't scared. No. I thought y'all were going bass fishing. We're well, trying. We need to cool off first. It's hot. So if you're interested in the EcoFlow wave or any of their other awesome products, you can check the link in the description below this video to find out all the details that you need to know. It is an awesome product. Whoa, whoa. Listen y'all, we're not even snapper fishing yet. Oh, we're just catching bait. Look at that, Jake and Abel. Oh, screaming. These are what we call sardines and they are the best bait in the entire world, especially when they're alive. We got a bunch of them. So the rig I'm using is called a sabiki rig. It's got tons of these little teeny hooks on it. Put a weight on the end, get you a nice flexible spinning rod. You don't want a real stiff rod. You want a rod that's got some flex to it. You gotta look for them on the depth finder. They're not gonna be individual fish. Look at them, Abram, look right here. Look at that huge oh school of them. So you typically need a good depth finder that really makes your day easy when you're catching bait. When they're up like that feeding on the surface, sometimes they can even be hard to catch. You, uh -oh. you typically want them about mid water column, not on the surface. Surface, oh. not on the surface. Oh, fair surface, scoot over Abram. Back up, Jake. Here they come. Oh, my God. Just like that, you guys. And these things are expensive when you buy them alive. Now, for those of y'all that don't have the time to come catch them, I probably recommend buying them because you'll waste so much of your day trying to catch them. So today's Jake's birthday. He's 12 years old. And all week, he's had his buddies in town and we've been celebrating. We've been fishing offshore, inshore. He went with Captain Ryan Mitz last night, him and Abram caught snook. Kelly and I have been catching snapper. So while we're sitting here catching bait, I'm gonna roll some clips of this week, just random clips of all week long, all the awesome fish we catch. And when we get done, we'll be offshore anchored up trying to catch these two boys some real big snapper. Gabe's putting a new bait on and Billy's hooked up. Wonder if it's another rudder fish. Trigger. Trigger. Oh, that's a good keeper. It's a keeper one too. You don't see them that big in store very often. Oh, I had a fish on the whole time. Oh, that's your trigger fish. I love me some trigger fish. What do we have here though? I say a small vermilion snapper. Wow, 
What do we have here? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> a whopper. Hey, this will make a sandwich. If y'all have never ate one of those, they good. Go. Come on in. Anytime you catch a snapper, they're like the most important fish that you need to get under the ice immediately. They will get mushy in a hurry. All right, Blue Gabe setting up the fancy electric reel. Billy's hooked up. Bee liner. Nice one, nice one. They're getting smaller. <laughs> uh oh. Still got to go to a lighter line. Yeah. 40. What's on there now? 60. Cool. Yes, yes. What's she doing over here? Listen, my dad taught me to work smarter, not harder. And I purchased this electric reel for just this kind of occasion. Looks like there's a little more weight on this fish. Sideways too, and you're pulling them up. No. Trigger fish? Yeah. Trigger fish. Look here, folks. This is how it's going down. Got a 13 ounce weight, 40 pound fluoro, with three circle hooks with chunks of squid on it. That simple. The cool thing about this reel is you can reset it, and it'll not stop coming up until it gets to that reset mark. I don't have to worry about it. I can go up front, take a nap because it'll stop right where it's supposed to. Now we're only in 135 feet of water, but if you knew how expensive this reel was, you'd be using it too in 135. I didn't pay all that money for nothing. Just hit the bottom. The other cool thing is, that's different than my other electric reel, is the other electric reel, it either has to be on just the handle or just the electric reel. This can do either. Already? Hey, Billy. Oh. <laughs> well, we have some choice words, but. <laughs> Old school versus new school. Should be the other way around. I know, right? <laughs> All right, come on, Billy, get it in. Get it in faster. Are you racing me? <laughs> I think he is. 50 feet. Oh, yeah, the end it tells you how many feet. Oh, oh Billy fishing. got it. <laughs> I'm fishing in deeper water than he is. Oh, is, is, that, is that the case? <laughs> And he even caught a keeper, and I didn't. Don't fix it if it ain't broke. <laughs> this is a mutton snapper, and he is definitely short. Yeah, it looks like an inch short. Ow! Oh, easy! Yeah, he's definitely... We got a vent ham and turn him loose. Goodness, that's the biggest vermilion I've ever seen. <laughs> Holy moly. That is the biggest vermilion snapper I have ever seen. Jeez. I thought the one you caught butterfly jigging was the biggest one I ever saw. Oh gosh. Look at this thing. We just, you just, you, we that just, is a freak. We just bought a scale, right? He's going, yeah, he's going in here though. That's 15 pounds of vermilions right there. Let's go put them on ice. I want to show you guys again this big one as he hooks up. A lot of times when we're catching fish really fast, I'll put them in the well. So I just put my thumb in here, 
pop that gill. This right here is a big vermilion. This right here is on a whole nother level. Oh, let's weigh him. I got that scale. Yes. Forget about that. Let's weigh him real quick. What do you know? Billy got our vermilion. Moment of truth. Alright, so that's four, so the line. He's dead on almost six pounds, five and a half pounds. That's five big. And half, five yeah. and a half pound vermilion. Joey VT fishing. Eat your heart out, buddy. Ginormous mangrove. Oh, it is a mangrove. A big one. I mean, a big one. Jeez. Look at that. That was mutton. Those aren't mean. Just stick your finger in his mouth and get the hook out. You trying to teach me your own tips? Yeah, that's my tip. That's how I do it. Look at the teeth. Yeah, see, those are retractable. They don't really hurt when they bite you. Oh gosh. That's a good one. Big one. You can throw him in that whale right there. This one? Yeah. So for any of you, you know, on the verge or thinking about getting Seymour maps, we're 10 miles north of anywhere that I ever fish. And I literally zoomed in on my Seymour maps, found a couple rocks. Uh, Billy just caught a huge mangrove snap. Oh my goodness, look at the that. There we go. Billy caught a huge one, now he's got another big one on and I caught a nice one. Trust me, it's not a gimmick. They work. They literally expose the entire bottom for you. Let's see what he's catching. Ooh, mangrove. a nice mangrove. Big one, goodness. Gosh, that's the size of my mutton. Mangroves are like the pit bull of snapper. They are so violent. There we go. Get. Oh. Ooh. They are violent. No. That's a grown one. Come on, get them up. Always keep your rod bent. That is the most important thing. Jeez, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my foot next to it. Don't bite me, please. Oh, the shadow. That's two of my feet combined. Can we talk about the mangrove that bit you the other day, though? Yeah, when you said pit bull of the sea, I was like, yes, my bicep knows that. When I let go of the mangrove, he literally shook his head like a dog. It hurt really bad. That's a four-pound mangrove. What you got? I got one. Big old fatty. Don't watch me grab the rod. Dude, these are so giants. Yeah, they're so red too. Oh, he's got little spots on. What'd you get? Another biggie? Look at that hook, it's about to come out. Son, we just started fishing. We ain't even told them where we're at yet. I think you got some kind of tuna on or something. I don't think this is a snapper. It don't feel like it. It's up on the surface. Yeah. Oh great, this is gonna be a mess with a long leader. We're gonna, yeah, have, to get a, a we're gonna have to get away from these bonitas. You see all these streaky lines? That's not what you wanna see.
What is it? Oh, it's a monster bonita. Okay, Abram, Jake, hold on to that rod because if it pulls it out of his line, out of his hand, it's going to be bad. I mean, a monster bonita. Dang. Feel like he's on there? Oh, yeah. He's on there. He's on there. Look at that. Uh-oh. It looks like the right one. It's the right one. It's the right one. Just a little too small. Yeah. Bombs away. Did you get a bite? Yeah. I can tell y'all one thing. It's a target-rich environment down there. Now we started out with a J hook and we went to circle hooks. I think it's just a better hook set for Jake with that spinning rod because it's too flimsy to get that J hook really buried into his jaw. Oh, that was a Benita or a Kingfish just wiped you out. Reel it up, he cut you off. And that's the problem with Kingfish at this time of the year. I don't know if you watched his rod bend real quick. Uh oh, uh oh. He's pulling. You got a dang meat stick up there for a rod. And it's fighting like a snapper and it's big, so it's probably not a big one. What do you think, Jake? This might be your first keeper mutton. Come back here. Give the rod tip to Jake. There you go. Oh, yep. yep. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Look at look uh -oh. how excited he is. Get him out from under the boat. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I think you just did it. Come on, please be a keeper. Oh, he's not hooked. He's dog. definitely a keeper. Oh, oh. Yes. There you go. He was not hooked good though. Oh yeah, those J hooks oh. like that hook him really good. He couldn't come off if he wanted to. I just saw that one hook. All right. Yeah, he's hooked good. We might have to go to J hooks, Jake. Those yeah. bigger double J hooks so they hook themselves. There you go. Yes. Why don't you tell everybody what happened to your front too? Um, so I was biting on a fishing line and it chipped my tooth. Biting fishing line. Yep. And you're sponsored by Danko. 20 and a half. There you go. Keep him on top of the ice. We'll get a good picture of him in a minute. All right. All right, so this is what we call a double hook rig. I'll show you how we put it on the bait now. So this rig was really developed for king fishing. I take the first hook and I hook it in his back. And the second one, I hook right where you would hook it like that. That will catch fish too. And you don't have to set the hook as hard as you normally would with that rig. This is acting like a mangrove. Yeah, I felt a little bit of a shake. Yeah, I feel a little bit of an edge. Well, hopefully not. I hope it's keeping wet. I see whatever it is. You get the leader, I get the weight. That's a nice fish. Look at that. Hey, those eat good too. Mm -hmm. eat good. So we just moved back up closer to the ledge. Obviously, we're already marking fish. There's one of the boys' baits. And we just fired down two beautiful live sardines. Now today we're not trying to fill the box. We're only wanting to catch a couple big muttons because all week we've been catching so many fish. I want to take it back to the other day when we came home with all those big, huge bee liners and mangroves and show you a clip at the house. One of my really good friends showed up and he's the funniest dude ever.
<laughs> you guys, let me introduce to you the celebrity guest of the day. This is Dare Me. And a lot of y'all that have been following me the whole time, you don't really know exactly what it was that I did pre-YouTube. This guy, I have worked with him since I was, what, 17? 16. They used to lock me in portalettes. They used to bully me. Throw a stone on the portalette. Hold on, hold on. Portalettes? <laughs> yeah, porta potties. Porta potties? It, yes. I've Listen, never heard for all you young kids watching that get pampered a little bit, I survived. Yes. These guys. But one other thing about Dermy, there's not a human being on the planet that likes fish more than him. And you guys know we caught a lot of fish today. Let's see if we can dump them all. This isn't even here. Dump some of this ice off. What's your favorite fish? Dump the fish and turbot. So we call these a trigger fish. Jeremy and most Jamaicans call them turbots. What do you, I want you to tell the camera how you clean and cook it. So we clean this fish and we take this skin and we'll boil it and make it into a drink. This is a man stuff. That's why you have so many kids. No. He'll drink a Guinness with a, a raw egg. Not no more, but. And no. he'll boil we'll these. Boil, we'll boil that, yes. It's and good. he used to tell me when I was young, growing up, he goes, you want to have lots of kids? You boil the skin, drink one Guinness and an egg. Yes. yes. What about, you don't like these snapper? Yes, those are good, but this is this is the champion right here. This is the champion. Is that enough fish for you? Yes, sir. You know what's crazy is this is only about a quarter of what we caught today. Oh. And if, while we were catching them, normally we don't keep this many fish, but while we were catching them, I actually thought about you. As soon as Billy caught the first big trigger, I'm like, that's me. I right know a here. guy that'll eat them. Right here. Man, I'm going to work on this. So if we're roasting this fish, we take this off, we clean it up, we got it, stuff it, and this fish now we bake it on an open fire wood fire there's nothing better eating yeah. than them and their head meat this, this meat in the cheek this, this is champion fish they really make soup from this thing they make so many stuff from this thing. now this again i gotta tell you kids probably even most of you under the age of 25 watching this cut that word bully out of the vocabulary because these guys were so hard on me but they taught me so many life lessons work hard yes when we worked for Devasa, that's the company. It was the biggest home building company in the world. We could all go home when we were done working. It didn't matter if it was 1 p.m. or 4 p.m. Yes. But we could not go home until our job was done, done. to the T yes. correctly. Yes. So we all mastered the art of doing our job yeah. good and fast. And yeah. if I can tell all of y'all watching that need a little bit of advice, do your job good and fast. Yes. Then you can go fishing the rest you of the time. You go fishing. And if you get on the job at 6 a.m., you're late. <laughs> You have no parking. You gotta be there early. I would go out partying, hog hunting all night long, and I was so scared of showing up late. I would go to the job site, sleep in my truck yes. on the job site. Yes. Remember Orlando when we yes. were in the job in Orlando? I'd yes. go, I would go kill deer on the on the job site. Yes. Come back, they would all be tired. I'm like, come on, we gotta clean this deer. Yes. yes. So I'm gonna load his cooler down, and then tomorrow we got show him that storm coming. Yes. Massive storm coming. Tomorrow we're going to come out and clean some fish and then we're going to hunting camp. Love it. But I'm glad you got some turbots. Yes. I want to show you some doctor fish, but they're illegal to kill here. Yeah. Um, they have the best. Good and he wants, he wants your big barracuda. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine? Yeah, I have All a right. smaller one. I can make okay. it. So I'm going to let him take one yeah. of my gator coolers home. He's been getting fish for me my whole... He'll eat all... Everything you see will be gone in how long? A few days. A Done. few days. Done. And he eats... Everything but so, the scales and the bones. So we take the scale up, we eat the skin, we take out the gill inside here, but on the gut, where everything else got, gets eaten. A matter of fact, if we fry it, we eat this too. Oh, the oh, tails are the, the best part. Yeah, we eat In my video that I filmed yesterday, we eat the tails on some bluegills. Yes. Well, let's load it up. Look at Finley. Finley. Billy, you're acting tired. Just a little bit. Well, the boys have been doing most of the fishing. I had to pick up a rod as well. Look at this big joker. It's a stud. Big old fat mangrove. That will make some seriously good tacos right there. You see how I got him up against my belly? You have to watch out for those jaws because they will bite you like a German shepherd. But I've got control of him. 
Where's my arm? Probably need to get some pliers. Pliers are up here. Or you can use them. Those double hooks. We're not coming out of him. Now the vermilions that you watch us catch earlier, the short clips, I've caught 16, 17, 18 inch vermilions. The biggest was 22 and a half inches. We already have cleaned them. We're gonna clean this and cook some of those vermilions tonight for dinner. We'll see y'all back at the house, at my house in Stewart, Florida. Now that's not a bad catch right there. We started at eight o'clock this morning, caught bait till like what, nine? Nine, nine. And was back to the dock at one and we went a long ways offshore. This is Abram's first mutton. Right at 21 and a quarter inches long. Big honker mangroves. Jake caught some really nice mangroves. And that is a mess of fish tacos like Jake wanted. I think we're gonna break out the black, what is it, black stone? Yeah, I don't I even think know so. what it is, our griddle. We're gonna make an awesome meal that we've not yet made on this channel. But I got one more surprise for you. We could, like, my biggest problem in life is I just can't give up fishing. Well, That's see. what we did when we got done snapper fishing. Look at that. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Did we ever find out why they have that? No, head? I don't think we did. I only know, like, sense things. Should we show them a little footage of catching these before we clean them? Yeah. Let's roll the clip real quick because some of these big, beautiful tile fish. And when we get back, the boys are going to clean these and I'm going to clean these because we got a lot of people wanting fish right now, including Abram's family. He's actually one of five kids. Five? five. Four. I, it's, no, it's four. Four. Sometimes it's hard to keep count because he's been with us for a week and I don't even think he remembers what his siblings look like. But we're going to his house tomorrow. Jake's coming with us. We're going to go shrimping and then Jake's going to stay with Abram because that boy right there likes to fish more than most people. And he takes his bicycle, he goes, catches snapper, comes home, cleans and cooks them for his entire family. So let's roll the clip real quick of these awesome tile fish. Uh-oh, we got color. 30 feet. Uh, what do you think it is? A tile fish? Tile fish. It is a tile fish. Reach over there and pull him in. You gotta get the lead in too. Small, it's a nice one. Good eating size one. Yeah. This one's heavy, whatever it is. What are y'all guessing? Big Kyle Big fish. Kyle fish. Or the world record mutton. I don't know if we'll get a mutton out here in 750. When it gets to about 24 feet, it's gonna stop. You gotta keep reeling, Jake. Don't stop until it gets up the rod tip. Which one tells you the feet? The top. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at that. I thought that was one. Like Get ready. I think it's a big pile. Get ready to reel, Jake. Go ahead. It's a nice, um... That's a... Alright, swing this over here. Oh, I thought that was a... Ooh, that's a honker. That's... Yeah. Yeah, that might be the biggest one I've ever caught on this boat. I saw... I thought it was a sailfish for a second. A sailfish? <laughs> oh, a sailfish. Or a marlin. I want to catch... Uh, oh, I can't grab him. It's we'll pull him in with the line. Or you can gap him. Son. That's a good one right there, boys and girls. Got us a good one. 
Let's catch one more. We're allowed one more tile fish. Fish out! And that's how you do it, folks. Reel it up. Nice and easy. I think it's a big old chunker. I think it's a big old tile fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice eater. Ain't nobody gonna complain about that. Grab that weight for him, Jake. Well, we got our limit in what, 20, 30 minutes? Yeah. Let's get the heck up out of here and get the heck out of shape. No, you can't say that yet. The video is not over. <laughs> so here's my best advice for you. I know you can clean a fish with the best of them, but trust me, it's like a tree stand harness. We all have hunted tree stands our whole life and not wore a harness, and I still do sometimes, but every time I do it, I think I should have a harness on. Back in the Bahamas last summer, I cut myself and I've cleaned fish as long as anybody my age and cleaned more than most. Wear you a glove. Because when it happens, it's not worth it. Leave a comment below if you watched that video, Kelly and I in the Bahamas. That was last summer? Yeah. That was, that was like quick. a quick. Yeah. How come I got the wrong glove? Your glove's over there. Finley dragged it over there in the grass. Finley! Your dad? My dad? I think so. Gabe's dad coming in with the trailer. I forgot all about we were going to hog tonight. So we're going to make tacos at camp? No, we're going to make tacos here. Okay. Your dog? <laughs> what is... Seriously, if anybody needs a free golden retriever to a good home, come get it. Well, put your glove... Not it's shrunken. <laughs> what do you think? It, so it like pulled. I don't, I don't know. know. So if you guys don't know how to clean a mangrove, you should because this is the most common snapper around here, anywhere in Florida, really. Yeah. Come in right behind its scales. Come in here close, babe, and show them. Get them up in here tight. Cut down just like that. Just one good clean cut. Take your knife, point it away from you. Come all the way down to when you get right here and it's all feel. Stick it through, just like that. Turn your knife over. Get your thumb in there just like that. Come up over those pin bones. Just like so. Look at that one beautiful chunk of snapper. Mother, what are you doing? Checking on you. Out how to fillet these fish or not. You better come over here and watch your grandkids so they don't cut their hand off. <clears throat> Mom, come here and look at this tile fish. You ever seen one of these There's up close? There's two of them right here. Hey, Kelly. Hey, buddy. But have you ever seen big ones like this up close? Uh, look at this thing right here on his head. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see it. But can y'all smell it? Now look here. All I did was take the like rib cages and the bellies and the end pieces of tilefish, mangrove, and vermilion. Put it in baking grease, cooked it for like two minutes on each side, and that's it. Then I took onions, a little bit of jalapeno, some sweet peppers, coconut oil and olive oil, and cooked it down for like two minutes. Put a little bit of yum sauce on Abram's taco, and we're about to go to town. Let's see. We're serving Abram first, because he's the guest. A little bit of lettuce, a little bit of onions and peppers. Give that a crack. Oh, no, nope, you need no, one piece of avocado. My my enemy is vegetables. <laughs> you I mean, love vegetables. I mean green beans. Oh, green beans? Try I'm that piece of, of fish. Now, beans. Jake just likes his plain. He doesn't want any of the peppers. Lettuce. He just wants some lettuce. Let's try this. There we go. What you think, Jake? I'm excited. Luke? We've been cooking tacos. We've been saying we were going to cook tacos for... Months now, and we finally are. How many fish have we caught this week? I don't know. Did you catch any snook? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that is a big one. How many did you catch, Jake? Snuck. Well, I think four. I caught two of my biggest. Was Ryan Nitz fun to fish with? Very fun. Very He's fun. awesome. Luke even caught a really big fish that I didn't show in this video because I'm going to make a video of just that fish because I've never caught one on my boat. Bang. That was an awesome catch. What about the taco? Are you going to give me your opinion? Oh, it's good. Mm. Uh, yeah, really good. Luke's already ate his entire taco. He just had a piece of fish. He didn't have anything else. <laughs> So I need to talk about one more thing. My giant river monster video just hit eight and a half million views. By the time you're watching this, it's probably gonna be at almost 10 million views. My biggest video ever, huge shout out to each and every one of you and even other people that aren't watching now for all the views. That's been an amazing, it's been a game changer for my channel. It's built my subscribers up like 50,000 subscribers, just one video. Thanks for watching this video though. Thanks for all the positive comments. Like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of what? Get the heck out of shape.